Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Got another gear video today, we're going to take a look at the setup here. I wanted to do this video to answer a question that I've received quite a few times in the past uh, on other videos in the comments, uh, I see it on forums, and this guy's, you know, they skirmish with some kind of a, a bolt action rifle or some kind of DMR marksman rifle. And we want to know what kind of vest or rig is going to be best to use in that kind of style of play. And this is, this is what I use for that. Obviously there's a lot of options, there's a lot of different chess rigs and that kind of thing around, but this is my setup and I, I find it works quite well. The key point to start with is that you don't want something big and bulky, you don't want like a big plate carrier, uh, that's just not necessary because you're going to probably be, you're not going to be in the, the heat of a fighting most of the time, you're not going to be running through a lot of ammo so you don't need tons of magazines generally. Uh, so you just want something more more streamlined, better suited for line prone, and all that kind of thing. Uh, so with that in mind, the, the base rig here is the two-piece MAV modular assault vest from Tactical Taylor. I fitted it with the optional X harness, which is this piece you see here, with the, that goes over the shoulders. As standard, it just comes with simple two-inch webbing straps. Good news is. Uh, for all you guys watching in the UK, you don't have to buy the actual tactical tailor one, uh, or you know you can get it over here. It does cost a fair bit. Obviously, you can get it shipped from the states, and that will cost uh, a similar amount. Um, but if you just want to use it for airsoft and you like this style of setup, then you can actually go on to flectarm.co.uk, uh, and they do something called their MLE. I, I forget the, what the actual abbreviation stands for at this point, but it, it's literally, it's a clone of the two-piece mount with the X-Harness already fitted and it costs something like £25. I mean, uh, I originally bought one in Olive Drab and it was pretty much my first bit of Molly equipment that I ever had for airsoft and it cost like £23 back in the day. And then I bought another one, maybe uh, just a, I don't know, a year or so ago, and it was still £20. Um, the quality is excellent, you know, they use a thousand denier cordura, mil-spec webbing, mil-spec thread, uh, the, the construction's really good, and the, the, but the prices are actually rock bottom. It makes me wonder sometimes why people buy all this Viper and uh, Webtex crap, because this, the, the, the stuff they sell on Flecton is ten times better and it's cheaper. It's like, why would you spend more money for an inferior product? But anyway, I'll put a link to the, the MLE. Or uh, obviously, if you just want, if you want the original tactical tailor version, they do this, the older one, which is the thousand denier, and they do a fight light one now, uh, which I'll probably up, be upgrading to, and I'll do an update video if I do. Fight light features the 500 D cordura uh, and various you know, these lighter weight webbing and all that kind of thing, so it cuts the weight down a little bit, which is going to be good actually if, you, if you're playing that marksman type role. Anyway, on to the actual setup. Our first thing that's great about the rig is that if you want a live probe, it takes you a couple of seconds and then you can just unclip it like that and it will sort of lay out from you and your magazines will be along the ground just to the sides. Which means you don't have things in between your body and the floor and they'll like be pressing into you and that's not like that. Also it means it's super quick and easy getting it on and off. It's literally just like taking a jacket on or, you know, or taking it off, whereas a lot of plate carries and stuff you've got Fuck around with this Velcro shit out the front, you've got to get it all over your head and stuff. This is ten times faster. And just, especially if you're, if you're taking it on and off quite a few times, then it's even more so uh, a really kind of feature. As you can see, there's very little actually to it. I mean, I've used the word vest in the video title, but it's definitely a chest rig. It's going to be great for hot days playing in the winter just put some kind of a jacket on if you're playing in a ghillie you won't need heat insulation anyway so uh, when you're playing in the summer you'd be thankful for a, a chest rig like this because there's just so much more room for your, for your skin to breathe and sweat to evaporate away with something like this that's got plenty, uh, plenty of open space and very little actually <clears throat> very little actual fabric to it. The main pouches that I've used for the magazines are these ones from Warrior Assault Systems. All the, all the pouches apart from the hydration carrier are from Warrior. They're easy to get from UK Tactical. The great thing about them is they're actually designed for real-life 338 Magnum magazines and, uh, and they fit 
two to three airsoft sniper magazines written well inside this one. KJW 1022 magazine just to illustrate you can fit one just that side and then you'd have another one there and they fit really well. They're not the fastest to reload from but then you shouldn't really need that anyway, that's not really the idea behind this particular setup. A couple of them and you've got maybe six magazines for a bolt action, possibly slightly more. Or uh, if you run uh, the shorter P mags, like the really round style ones, the mid caps, you get a couple of them. Any sort of marksman's rifle that there is in there. So the ICSM on Garand or the GNG one that came out quite recently, uh, bolt actions like that, the World War II rifles. They tend to have quite small compact magazines, you get a few of them into these types of pouches. So that's what they are, they're really good for. And you don't have to delve really deep into them. If, like, if you use an M4 slash L85 Stanag pouch, the mags would end up really deep inside them and you're going to have to try and get in to grab the mags out. With these, nice and shallow, none of that problem, really easy to grab. On this side, just got a medium sized utility. Elastic retainers on the inside there for organising whatever it is, spare gas, spare BBs, that sort of stuff, whatever it is you need to carry, extra bit of uh, like zip ties or cam net, Hessian, whatever it is you might need for camouflage perhaps, uh, a small monocular, you know, it's a, it's a utility pouch, you can use it for a million or one different thing. This side, this is actually a smoke grenade pouch, um, but it's, if you had something like a stubby M4 or maybe an MP5, it's like your backup weapon, you can fit a couple of mags in there, or smoke grenades of course. Uh, the, the M4 mag shaped speed loaders are a really good thing to put in there. This is just a, like a sort of radio small utility on the back here, so that'll work for your cons and other small items. On the back. This is the two litre hydration carrier from Patrol Instant Gear. Uh, there's loads of other hydro carriers, any sort of two or three litre hydro carrier will fit on here, just fine. It's actually attached quite low because the two litre is a lot shorter. If you had a three litre, it would be more up here somewhere. Uh, like I said, from Patrol Instant Gear, really lightweight, compact, fits a, uh, a source two litre bladder really well. Just zip on the top there for access. The tube comes out over here. I've rooted it through the PALS webbing and uh, I'll show you again how the actual mouthpiece is attached to the side of the spinner. Around. Basically, what I've got is an ITW uh, web dominator just here. That, that sort of keeps that tube uh, in check a little bit. And then when you want to actually drink, this is an ITW uh, Grimlock. Basically a small, lightweight plastic carabiner. Just clip that open, drink your water, and you're done. Clip it back in again, simple as that. In terms of the adjustment at the back, there is a wider range of adjustment with this uh, with this vest. You can you can wear it on uh, over like soft armor, or if you're a bigger guy, it will fit you. I and mean, it could go even down to fucking skin fuck like me. Uh, and then as you see, I've just got some tape secure up all that extra loose strap and then malice clips just here attaching the bottom of the hydro carrier onto the rig itself. And there we go. Um, basically I find this works really well, uh, especially in the summer months carries those smaller magazines for your sniper and marksman type rifles really well. You don't have tons of extra shit. You can't actually mount tons of extra shit on here anyway because there isn't the room. Uh, and that's, that can be a good thing. You've got your water, you've got your comms, your spare uh, batteries, gas, you've got your mags, and you know that's, that's your main stuff you need in a game. Nice and lightweight, you can actually, uh, if you pick up the MLE, the Full MLE from Flectar, and it actually comes with some pouches in this sort of an area. This one, the Tactical Tailor one, has Velcro closure, whereas the old version has zips. So you could actually save some money and weight by not 
adding off, um, the utility pouch, maybe the radio or smoke pouches, you can actually take them off. And if you've got thin, small items, you can fit them inside the chest rig itself. Yeah, there we go. That is, uh, that is my personal setup that I like to use for any sort of longer range type weapons. It does me well and I think, uh, I think it's a good system. If you want to keep up to date with the videos that go on the channel guys, I've got a Facebook page where I post up every time I do a new upload. And, uh, I'll put a link to that down in the description, down in the description box below. Thanks to everyone uh, for watching, thanks for all the thumbs up and the subscribers and all that good stuff, it's really appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers guys.